vlogmas day 14 just kidding it is day 16 today's video is going to be very exciting if you watched my last one you know where i am why i'm here and this is part two of the vegas vlog so the camera's shaking because it's literally sitting on this ice container on top of the orange juice that i did not drink what's today mom today is vlogmas day no 14 but what's today your birthday yeah. want to give them a rundown of what's going on today Allie competes mm -hmm. in cheer we're gonna go watch a team before her that from the is same gym from the same gym then we're gonna watch her and we're gonna say a little prayer that everything goes well she's really birthday. cheer momming it up i am i'm blingy and i'm not a real i don't like bling this is taken one for the team right here That's and then after that yes. we're going to a birthday dinner and grace macy. and macy and their moms the room is a disaster i literally what time did we get back last night we were up to like pretty late here is my outfit my beanie is from urban outfitters my shirt's from tj maxx jeans are abercrombie shoes are vans they need to be cleaned they're kind of gross and then in case it gets I cold like i have this jacket i feel like i look like i'm going to the snow we're gonna party it up i need to show you guys the message that grace sent me because it's so funny it makes me laugh it's gonna be a great day and i've already gotten so many kind messages from you guys on instagram so thank you so much for all your birthday wishes i'm so grateful they're charging us probably like a billion dollars for every single water we take, but we don't have any other water. Well, we don't have time. I, We're like going from one thing to I know. Their marketing is really working out well for them here. Also, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but this hotel is freaking ginormous. Hello, I obviously filmed this on the weekend. Today is December 15th when I'm recording this, so I'm uploading this video tomorrow. I filmed that weird intro at the beginning of this, and then basically I just have a bunch of other random clips because for some reason I just took videos of things and wasn't talking in them. I think we were just running around to a bunch of different places and there was a lot going on, and I didn't want to like vlog in the open streets of the strip, so I just took a bunch of videos. So I'm here to narrate that for you guys because it's much more fun with context. So here we go. I showed you my outfit, obviously, and then we went to the cheer competition. Ali team did really well the first day they had one stunt fall but besides that they had a really great routine after that we went to shake shack with grace and her parents and we had ourselves quite the time there it was delicious i haven't been to a shake shack in a really long time i think the last time i went was like sometime in the summer then we walked around for a little bit and we went to the m&m store i didn't get anything but ali got a big bag of m&ms and i ate like half of them so i should, probably should have gotten my own bag but i did not and then we went to dinner so we went to dinner at this place i don't remember the name but i will put it on the screen we had the best italian food ever basically it was family style so you ordered a bunch of different things i have screenshots actually of what i ordered so I was screenshotting things to show to the waitress so we got the Caesar salad, the penne alla vodka, meatballs and spaghetti, the chicken scallopine with lemon and butter, and this Titanic thing for dessert. Just wait till you see it in real, like on our table video. It was amazing. So we were eating our food, it was delicious, and then like midway through our dinner, this group of girls came up to me and they asked me if I was Katie, and I was like, yes I am, and they were subscribers. And this is like the first time I've ever been recognized in public, by, or at least somebody's ever said hello to me in public, knowing about my YouTube channel, not knowing me before that, which is kind of funny because my brother's been recognized at work, and there are like countless mutual friends of people that go to my school that watch my videos, not knowing I was friends with their friends, or like vice versa, stuff like that, so. It it was crazy to see people who actually watch my because I sit here and I make these videos but and I know the numbers but I obviously don't see the actual audience like I talk to you guys in my DMs every single day but you know what I mean it was just a really crazy experience so I vlogged a clip they were so sweet I was like so nervous I was like oh my gosh like, these are people that have watched my videos so here's the clips from that guys okay, we're at dinner and look these are just subscribers introduce yourself what are, what's your name? um I'm Riley I don't have one <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> not gonna look at me they were the best so thank you guys so much if you're watching this then the restaurant sang to us and we ate this dessert that was called the titanic i don't think i have a vlog video of it so i will find the picture that i have of it if you don't follow me on instagram you should because you would have already seen that picture at hey miss katie that's like a work of the good lord above it was incredible hello why are you knocking on the door like that after that we went shopping and went back to our hotel and we went up to macy's penthouse if you don't know about the penthouse please go watch part one of the vegas vlogs but basically we were just like so slap happy we were having so much fun grace was like stuffing her leggings with towels it was just like we were cracking up we were having so much fun anyway that was the birthday it was the best time and some of ali's cheer friends were like oh i'm so sorry you have to be at the cheer competition on your birthday and i was like no i wanted to be there you know because 
is if I was at home, my best friend Grace was there, my twin sister was there, I haven't spent a birthday apart from Allie ever. I also said to Cammie I'd probably just be sitting on my butt all day at home. I mean, I'm sure I would have planned something, but it was very fun to be in Vegas for my birthday and I am glad I went. So the next day, Allie competed again on Sunday. We woke up, Allie got ready super fast, went on her way, she was up really early, and me and my mom went to the coffee shop that was inside of our hotel and we just got a lot of work done that morning. I ordered a chai in this oatmeal thing and it was really good, but I kind of had a stomachache when I first got it, so I ended up eating cold oatmeal, which is like completely irrelevant because I don't even have a clip of my cold oatmeal, but I just felt the need to share that information. That day, Allie's team competed, and her second team that she is an alternate for also competed, and they both hit, which if you are not familiar with the cheer world, which I'm sure a lot of you are not because it is literally a cult. I call it a cult, but hitting zero means you get zero deductions, so you don't have any stunts, fall or bobble, you don't have any tumble touches. So they did really well day two, and they ended up winning, which was very exciting. So I have the footage of them finding out Ali was recording I couldn't be in the room But I gave the camera to Ali to record because they couldn't do live awards They had to stream them online because of COVID so here are those videos get ready to hear some screaming The level 5 senior division and get up for SC cheer yeah! Your silver champion in level 6 senior extra small Your champion is SC cheer yeah! In level six international open co ed non tumbling. Smoke for Mo. Yeah. Coaches, how do you feel about the day? Wow. Yeah. Wow. What a great day. Yo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Snicky, do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> this is my favorite person. He's out vlog. This is where it gets good. So after Ali competed, we went to this place called the Sugar Factory and we had gone there two days or no, we had gone there the day that we got to Vegas and we were so confused by the location because it was just like, it was the Sugar Factory. It was, that's what it was called, but it was this abandoned, weird shop. Look, I don't know. They had multiple parts to it. We were so confused and we're like, oh my gosh, they must not be open. Like they must have shut down, whatever. Cause a taxi driver took us there. It's also getting really dark outside. So if this starts to get weird lighting, very sorry. I'll move closer. We could not find it. We were so confused and we ended up taking another taxi and we found out that it was in a completely different location, like 15 minutes away from the original place. That was a whole debacle of its own. We could not figure out where to go and Allie was still in her cheer, cheer uniform. That was a whole debacle of its own, us trying to figure out where to go and Allie was still in her cheer uniform at this point. She had her like national champion jacket on, but she was still in the uniform, still in the bow, full makeup, everything. So we had a reservation for this place. So we were like, oh my gosh, we have to go, go, go. So we don't miss the reservation. We ended up missing the reservation because obviously we went to the completely wrong place and we were running through the mall trying to find it when it didn't exist for 30 minutes. And then we had to drive somewhere else. So we missed the reservation regardless. But at this point we were just so hungry and we were like, get us to this other place. And we made it there and it was amazing food. I had a really good burger. Obviously you see it on the screen with this grilled asparagus. They sang to us and it was really fun. And then they left and they brought the check after and it was not inexpensive like it's vegas so unfortunately higher prices but my mom paid the tab and she got the bill back to um pay the tip and the bill was $613 and she was like, there's no way, this is not right. They charged my mom's card for $613 and they had to void it and refund her. So I don't even think she's gotten it back yet, but that was crazy and weird in and of itself. And then we left the sugar factory and we had to run from the sugar factory to the Mirage. I'm gonna see how much of a difference that is. I don't know. It can't be that far, but when there's like people everywhere and it's like, um, I don't wanna say clogged. There's traffic of bodies crowded. That's that's the word I'm looking for, clogged. When it's crowded, it's hard to get through something. So let's look this up. Basically, we were gonna try to catch a taxi or get an Uber, but then the Uber guy couldn't find us and he was like incessantly calling us. So my mom had to cancel the Uber. The whole point of us being so urgent about calling a taxi was that we had to get to the airport on time to catch our flight. And my mom was like, at this point, it's just gonna be faster for us to walk or run. So that's what we did. Listen to that sound. I don't know if you guys hear that, but they're like repaving the road by my house. It's been chaotic like all day long. 
Okay, it was 1.3 miles that we ran from our, the sugar factory to our hotel. And during this time, you know it's Vegas. It's wild, crazy people that are there. Allie is in this like little cheer uniform. Big bow on her, you know, you know what she looked like from the videos I showed you. And she had her brand new Converse on that she hadn't broken in yet. She got them for her birthday and they were crushing her toes. So she <laughs> took one shoe off. So she was running down the strip in this outfit with one shoe on. My phone was dead, Allie's phone was dead. My mom's phone had like 2% and we were running full speed to get back to the hotel on time to take a taxi to the airport so we don't miss our flight. So we were a sight and a half. It was like mayhem because people were catcalling Allie, trying to give us cards to go to clubs. This one guy straight up came up to Allie, like got in her face, straight up gave her the up down like that and was like, congratulations. And my mom used some uh, colorful language towards that man, but he was like clearly, anyways, just creepy people. That was that and it doesn't end there. We got in our taxi to go to the airport. We had a really cool taxi driver. He used to be in the Croatian army, was talking to us about how much he loves America and we're we're pulling up to a stoplight. It's a red light and there's a right turn lane, but it's one of those right turn lanes that has concrete in between it. You can turn straight through it. You don't have to wait for a red light, green light, whatever. There was a guy in a van who was yelling terrible things at the guy to his left, like really awful language, racial slurs. It was terrible. Like he was clearly under the influence of something. Like straight up fully got out of his car in the middle of traffic, threw a water bottle at this dude to his left's car. So like I said, it was kind of mayhem. It was a lot going on. And then, does not end there, my mom is sitting in the plane, we were on Southwest, so luckily this really nice guy moved so we could all sit together, me, my mom, and Allie, and this woman is trying to fit her bag in the overhead space and squishes mine and Allie together, which is fine, like I would do the same thing, you're trying to get your bag up there, but as she's getting her bag up there, she whoops my mom in the head, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Once I knew that my mother was okay, I was like trying not to laugh, because I was like, this is what else could go wrong. Last part of the story is like very relevant, this is just just like what is wrong with humanity. Allie's standing there, she's so incredibly exhausted. My mom gets her bag done. My mom had to like separate mine and Allie's bags because of the woman who squished them together before. And so we got my bag down, we got my mom's bag down and Allie's bag is up there and I'm like, can you grab it? She's like, I can't get it. Like I can't reach up to get it. And she said twice, she was like, I can't get that. I can't get it. Like I can't get my bag. And there was a over six foot tall man standing behind Allie and then another one behind that dude. And none of them offered to help. And even if it was just me and there was some like old man who was like, I can't get my bag down. I'd be like, oh my gosh, let me help you, sir. Like, and get it down for him like right away. So I had to step over the seat and get Allie's bag down. And I was like, oh, here you go. And I had to pull it really hard because it was stuck in there because of the woman squishing it. So it kind of went flying, almost hit Allie in the head. And the lady in front of me goes, well, don't hit her in the head. And I was like, Maybe she wouldn't get hit in the head if you would have offered to help because we are two young girls who are not tall and I'm very weak. That's a little like stuck up of me, but I was like, seriously, I'm not gonna hit my sister in the head with her suitcase. Okay, this is literally getting so dark and you can see my shadow back there. So I think that is all for this video. I took some clips of us in the airport before all this craziness went down because we were so slap happy. I was dying, it was so funny. <laughs> That is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video for Vlogmas Day 17. Bye, guys. Mwah.